Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Tech Showdown. My name's Kevin and today we're looking at the MSI Twin Frozer R9 290. So this is obviously another non-reference R9 290 and I haven't covered any MSI products yet so this will be quite interesting. So the Twin Frozer, this is the Twin Frozer 4. Twin Frozer cool, it's been around for a while. Um, a lot of people say that it kicked off the whole dual fan sort of trend for uh, non-reference coolers and, and things like that. So this one will be quite interesting. Uh, the Twin Fosa 4 cooler is uh, quite good in the sense that it has a special, oh, well, sort of like special heat pipe design they call super super pipes, which apparently um, help transfer the heat faster than regular heat pipes. And also it has uh, slightly better heat sinks apparently that dissipate the heat better. So we'll see if that's all true. So this also comes with oh, uh, their military class components. So that basically just means better components. So you know it's got good solid caps and uh, high C caps and things like that. So just better components that should allow for uh, better sort of reliability of the card, you know, less likely to break and should also allow better overclocks. Um, which is good as well. So on top we have the accessories, yes we do. So this card, uh, aside from the aforementioned um, military class components and the Twin Frozer 4, it's actually not that different from the <laughs> reference to 90, especially when we look at um, speeds and stuff like that. I'm getting in here, we just have oh, just a little 8-pin uh, to 6-pin adapter. And a wow six pin Molex adapter. Oh, what else we got here? Driver CD. Don't use that. No need for it. Just download the latest one from AMD. Oh, this is just saying about their hybrid BIOS. So some people will be interested in that, but um, generally, mm, most of them come with it anyways. Um, like you get the you can go into the legacy BIOS, um, and then just a quick use to so accessory wise, nothing. It's, I'm not going to say it's bad, but it's nothing good. Um, so speeds on this card are pretty underwhelming, uh, to say the least. Let's get it uh, so memory is just at reference, so 5,000 megahertz. So no different over the reference model, and uh, the GP4 itself uh, has only been bumped up to 1 gigahertz. Uh, so that puts it on par with the Tri-X, which is uh, 1000 megahertz on the GP, although the Tri-X has uh, bumped up memory slightly to 5200. But I generally like to see a bit more on a non-reference card. It's not really pushing it that much, although you know there's always still going to be benefits um, because it's not going to be throttling. And MSI on the back said this uh, only runs up to 78 degrees, which, if that's true, will mean it'll perform uh, cooling-wise as well as the Tri-X, but I don't know. We'll have to see. Okay, so around the back we have twin DVID and then just HDMI and DisplayPort. All pretty normal. So this looks good. These fans are... they look really big. The flame designs are quite nice on them. They look like they perform really well. The I can't see really what they're going on about with the heat pipes. They look pretty normal to me, but uh, there might be some wizardry going on underneath there. So this guy looks really good. I really like the look of it. Um, MSI does make good looking products. We flip around to the top, so that's what you'll see most of the time. It has a nice backplate on there. Always like to see a nice backplate. The uh, black PCB looks really good too. So this is just a really uh, good looking, it feels well built um, card. Yeah, and we look around the back. So with this one, I don't know. It's probably going to be similar to the XFX one, uh, 290 I tested the double dissipation a while back, in the sense that it doesn't have 
that much more in terms of um, sort of pre-overclocking. Although, you know, if it performs really good in the temperatures, then you should be able to overclock it quite far uh, with the thermal headroom you'll have. So, mm, I think it'll be alright. Um, we'll just have to see what it does in temperatures. So, I'll compare this to the Triax and to the reference just to give you an idea because as we saw with the XFX, even though that was running at the same speed as the reference model, the um, performance numbers were, you know, a decent bit better than the reference 290 just because it wasn't throttling at all, because the GPU wasn't running up to its thermal limit. So that's going to round out to this video. Uh, there'll be more videos coming very soon, and I hope you enjoyed uh, this unboxing of the MSI Twin Frozer R9 290. And I'll catch you guys next time on Tech Showdown.